in non-playoff action. Number 11, Old Rochester, faces number 10, Seekonk, happening Friday night at 7 o'clock in uh, Deja Vu. Well, you know, the the Bulldogs are hoping it doesn't happen again. Um, in the, in last week's game, uh, they just played each other. It was 48-20 to 20 that, uh, that Seekonk won that game. And really, it was a horrible night for the Bulldogs. Uh, they had six turnovers in that game. And they really had no answer for uh, Seacock quarterback Brendan Smith. He ended up throwing for 398 yards and seven touchdowns, and he did not have any interceptions in that game. Who is he, Ben Roethlisberger? You know, like we always talk about, oh, our, I want that kid as my fantasy quarterback. Like almost every time we, we talk about Seacock, it's usually, wow, you know, Brendan Smith had a huge game. Um, and it, it's back to the drawing board for the Bulldogs. Uh, they ended up opening the season – Three and zero, but they've since then they've gone uh, one and one and three, um, so they've struggled um, down the course, you know, the, of the se- you know, the end of the season, uh, the regular season, and going into the tor- uh, tournament, they didn't make the tournament, so now they're in this, you know, scheduled uh, three games, and uh, they're going to want to get back on track. Uh, it's not going to be easy because they're going back to Seahawk, a place that they were just at last week, but I know Coach Henry Quinlan, you know, will harp into those kids all week this week. You know, we got to get back on track. You know, we can't, you know, can't let that happen again. Because um, I, I can't remember the last time an old Rochester team gave up that many points in a game. Um, it, it's, you know, obviously it didn't happen yeah, at all last year. Very and, yeah, you know, it's not something that they that they tend to do. But I think you took the you took the call from Henry Quinlan and he said something with all those turnovers. You can't. Right, you six can't, turnovers, I believe. Yeah, yeah you can't beat a uh, even a Pop Warner team when you mm-hmm. when you play that that poorly. So. I know he'll have those kids focused and, and you know, determined to, to come back and, and, and play Seekonk tough this week. And, you know, it should, you know, sometimes when you lose that bad, you kind of want to just look past it. But that's going to be a motivating factor this week for, for Old sure. Rochester and, and the rematch. So It'll be Friday night at 7 at Seekonk. You can follow along on Twitter at SC underscore varsity. Talk about the game using the hashtag SCVFootball.